<clears throat> All right, I got the master cylinder mounted onto the firewall uh, using the fifth gen Camaro slave cylinder, uh, not slave cylinder, uh, master cylinder. Uh, 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 the clutch line and a F body reservoir from my Ultra Camaro. Show you how I made the hole. Um, I didn't look up any way to do this, so I did it my own way. Maybe somebody could have. Um, did it a better way than I did, but right here and then on the on the uh, top side of the master cylinder is bolts that bolts through the firewall. I didn't want to go through the hassle of uh, lining it up straight, so I um, I just cut them. I cut them off, and then I put some double sided tape. For, uh, to help it from wiggling and some padding against the firewall and then it's already I'll show you here under the dash it's already bolts into this little frame same same where the brakes mounted it. it's already bolts for the clutch pedal so they already right there uh, that's pretty much it um, the size holes. Oh, let me get up. Um, got these from uh, Tractor Supply. Drilled through the, drilled through the firewall. I did this for the top portion. Probably could have went a little smaller, but actually this is perfect. This is uh, one inch. That's the top half, cause it's kind of the whole the. Uh, the actual hole is like shaped like a more triangle shape. So I, I drilled the hole for the bottom portion, an inch and a half. And then for the top portion hole that you're gonna make through the firewall, I did an inch. So what I did to line it up perfect, um, like I said, uh, so I, I cut the I cut the screws off, so it's no no mounting holes essentially in the firewall. It's just double sided tape padded. Only thing that's holding it bolted on is those two bolts right there. Um, okay, so I cut the bolts off and then I completely put it in there straight up. I, t uh, I took the master cylinder out and I put it against the firewall. Then I made some marking inside the hole so I know exactly where the hole is. Uh, perfectly um then i took it back out and then that's when i did the inch and a half portion at the bottom and then the inch at the top and perfect uh yourself um, it's not factory perfect not clean but good enough for me and that's how you get the three pedal my next step not today is dark outside now nah, finishing up for the day but these days uh, i just left the g8 pedal in a lot easier than taking all that shit off. I seen somebody do. I'm gonna assume that they just cut the pedal. That's what they said. And that's what it looked like they did. Yeah. So just cut the G8 pedal a little bit here. Yeah, it's smooth. So just cut it right along, right along here, right under the bottom portion of my, of my finger, and then it should snap right on. It would be looking like a real, real clutch pedal. And uh, it's just simple as that. Yeah, wasn't too hard. Just simple as that. <laughs>